Later, Richard Dawkins on global television was quoted and filmed as saying, we don't need evidence for evolution. We know it to be true. <laughs> well, that's not really scientific. Not at all. So let's see if they were a little more honest in this Scopes Evolution trial. And with that, with a, a single tooth, the mate to this tooth out of the same jaw. This is not the original tooth, but it's from the original jaw that was later discovered. Let's see if this is a little more transparently honest. The truth leaked out slowly and obscurely in the American Museum Novaisitz for January 6, 1923. Now, wait a minute. The trial was not held until 1925. But they knew the truth in 1923. They knew it was not what they had claimed it to be. Yet they used it in the trial without permitting the opposition to view the tooth at all and used that to introduce evolution into the public school system. Is that honest? No. In the light of that, should we be honest? Yes. No matter what the facts are, we want to know the facts and we want to espouse them. All right, January the 6th, 1923, where nine authorities, evolutionary authorities, cited their objections to the claim that the tooth was anywhere near related to the primate. Either lower primate, and that's an orangutan or an ape, or a higher primate, man, nine authorities cited publicly in writing their objections that this tooth was anywhere related to an ape or a human being. Yet, they still used it as the evidence that man descended from an ape. Well, let's see what happened. A further search was made at Snake Creek, where it was found originally, the site of the original discovery. And by 1927, the uh, publication 1923, trial 1925, in 1927, they found the rest of it. It was begrudgingly concluded that the tooth was not from an ape, not from a human being, but a species of prosthenops, an exact genus related to the modern peccary, or what are those two words? Wild, Wild, pig. Wild pig. It was a pig's tooth. Wow. Well, let's see what the facts continue to be displayed. These facts were not considered generally newsworthy, so the press, I wonder why they were not considered newsworthy. The trial was literally broadcast live. People stood in sweltering weather inside the non-air-conditioned courtroom, took off their jackets, wanted to take off more, but those were not the days of uh, uh, free living. And uh, they sweltered in the courtroom. Crowds gathered outside listening to it on radio. It was reported throughout Europe. Yet they never indicated at all the truth. They wanted evolution at any price to be taught in the American public school system. 